Hey everybody, Mark Armstrong with sports. The NFL draft went off entirely virtually and now all around the league teams are doing virtual OTAs. We actually caught up today with an NFL veteran who's trying his best to stay in game shape. Like so many others, Dakota Dozier's entire livelihood is on hold. An offensive lineman for the Vikings, Dozier calls Raleigh home in the offseason. I know my options are limited, but I'm going to do the best I can with it. Uh, and that's kind of how I've approached it. Uh, just go out here, do the best I can, and be uh, as fit as possible. And so when I can get back in the weight room, hit that hard, and get, get, get back on the field and hit that hard. Staying strong and limber is obviously of the utmost importance. Jump rope, sandbags, uh, weighted push-ups, different things. Just. Out here on my sidewalk. Those 40 pound sandbags serve a variety of purposes in his sidewalk gym. Another one of his exercises showcases his athleticism and doubles as a great ad for the Chevy Silverado's robust tailgate. It can handle 312 pounds, no problem. Dakota has a health and exercise science degree from Furman that he's also putting to work in partnership with 3M. They said, hey, that'd be great. We can pair football and science and uh, schooling during this time of COVID. Uh, so they reached out and there was a list of different experiments I could do at home. Uh, I chose to do how we breathe. Hold your bottle so that you can see the balloon inside. Gently pull down on the knot. What happened to the space in the bottle? What happened to the space in the balloon? The NFL platform obviously uh, affords you the chance to connect with different uh, organizations. Um, and it's just an awesome platform to use because uh, I love giving back. Uh, it's been, we're, we're tremendously blessed to do what we do. Uh, and any way we can give back is awesome. Dozier trusts the scientists charged with making the decisions about when the NFL can return in some form. In the meantime, he's enjoying the extra time with his wife and 20-month-old son, Dak Jr. We just don't know when this will end um, and when it will be safe again to get back in the locker room, get back on the facility and, and practice. And so um, whenever that time comes, I know we'll be ready to get running. We weren't able to say hi to Dak Jr. as he was napping during Daddy's interview time. All right. So